First few UFC events were very very brutal and aside from eye gorging and biting everything was allowed. Elbows to the back of the head could literally kill the opponent. Then we had the nasty nard shots like in the case of Kate Hackney or Royce Gracie. You could demolish family jewels from all areas, you could land 12 to 6 elbows. Not to talk about headbutts and other very very brutal strikes, even kicks to the downed opponent. I'm Vladimir Vlad and these are our first 5 UFC champions. Number 5. Steve Janum. Steve Janum, also known under the nickname of Ninja Cup, well he won UFC 3, but you know, he's the first ninjutsu guy who won the championship, but it hid a dark secret, you know. Royce Gracie hurt himself against Kimo Apollo, so Harold Howard advanced to the finals, while Ken Shamrock was unable to fight after a submission win over Felix Mitchell due to injury. So Steve Janum is the only guy who won only once and won UFC tournament. Rules were changed later, but he will always be remembered as the guy who fought only once to win UFC tournament. He is UFC 3 champion. Number 4. Marco Huas. Michael Huash is the former UFC 7 champion, the guy who won UFC 7 tournament and the former WVC super fight champion who defeated Steve Janum, the former UFC 3 champ. He is also known as the guy who chopped down Paul Varelance to win UFC 7 tournament, but he is also the first Brazilian who won this competition and the first real all-around guy who competed in the world of UFC. His 7th degree black belt in Luta Livre Sportiva, 3rd degree black belt in BGG, 3rd degree black belt in Judo, 1st degree black belt in Taekwondo, and master rank red and white cord in Capoeira, and master rank in Mao Thai. His MMA score is 9 wins, 4 losses and 2 draws. What a legend of this sport. Number 3. Oleg Taktarov. Oleg Taktarov is the first European and the first Russian UFC champion. He is also the guy who scored the fastest submission at that time when he choked out uh, Anthony Macias after only 9 seconds. He made Sambo so famous even before Fedor Emelianenko. Oleg Taktarov was known as one of the toughest guys ever seen in the world of Octagon, who was ready to pull guard, submit everybody and did enormous amount of punches and kicks until he chokes the opponent out. He is UFC 6 tournament winner, but he is also one of the most influential guys who have ever participated in the history of this competition. Aside from his tournament victories, we mustn't forget his amazing, amazing fight against Ken Shamrock, where he fought against one of the best wrestlers in the world for 33 minutes for UFC Super Fight title at UFC 7. Number 2. Dan Sever. Dan Severn is the guy who won UFC 5, UFC 7.5 and UFC 9, but also the man who participated in one of the best matches in the finals of UFC 4 against Hoyce Gracie. Dan Severn is actually the first wrestler who won uh, this uh, lovely tournament, but Dan Severn was unable to classify himself as a wrestler, so he had to write other where he participated for the first time. He is the guy who brought Suplex City into the world of mixed martial art. Oh, what a legend. Number 1. Royce Gracie. Royce Gracie is UFC 1, UFC 2 and UFC 4 winner and the guy who fought in the UFC 1 against one glove boxer R. Jimerson, Kate Hackney and many other names. Many people were shocked how could a man who weighed 180-185 pounds able to defeat so many heavier and stronger opponents but he is the most influential BGG fighter who has ever stepped inside the octagon. He would probably win UFC 3 but he hurt himself against Kimo Leopoldo so Steve Janum was able to win that tournament. Hoyce Gracie also participated in the longest UFC match when he fought Ken Shamrock for 36 minutes. My avid fans, thanks for watching.